Hi, Dr. Yu here at the Rochester Museum and Science Center for another experiment that you can try at home. This one is for testing to see if things have vitamin C or not and how much vitamin C they have. So you can test pretty much anything with this experiment. What you're going to need is some spray starch, some things that have vitamin C in it, like orange juice or tomato juice or even a vitamin C tablet, and some iodine, or I'm using betadine, which has less iodine, but it'll still work. Uh, some droppers, something to stir with, cups and water. So let's try it. First thing you're going to want to do is take your spray starch and you want to spray it into each of the cups. And don't worry about how much. You can't really not put enough in. So you want to overspray. So I've got some white milky liquid in the bottom from my spray starch. Now we're going to add water to that. Again, the amount of water is not that important. Enough so you can see what's going on. I'm going to give that a little bit of swirl so I get all the starch into it from my cup. There we go, mix that up. Now we're going to add our iodine. Okay. Now depending on if you're using betadine or iodine, depends on how much you want to use. Uh, if it's actual iodine, four drops is fine. I use more with the betadine. I'll put about eight drops in there, and we might decide we want to put in more. So what you'll notice is it's turning that dark blue-black color, okay? Starch has molecules in it that are kind of like a coil, like a spring. What happens is the iodine goes inside that coil, and that's what creates the blue-black color. So it's not actually reacting with the starch, but it's interacting with the starch to make that blue color. That's going to be very important because vitamin C does react with starch. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a dropper and we're going to add some drops of vitamin C, of something containing vitamin C, or really anything. Two, three, four. It's very important to count your drops if you want to do a really good comparison. I'm going to give that a little stir. And we're going to add some more, five, six, and stir. You want to keep adding it, seven, eight, nine. The more iodine you put in to start, the more drops you'll have to add, depending on how much vitamin C is in it. This is what we call a titration in chemistry. We're adding one chemical very carefully to test to see how much there is of another chemical. The vitamin C will react with the iodine. So once you've reacted all of the iodine, there's nothing left inside that starch coil to make it turn blue, and so it'll turn back. So you can see how this has gotten really light in color as our vitamin C is reacting with our starch. If we compare the two, you can see a big difference in colors, right? So now you could test something else, like the tomato juice, the same way in the other cup and see which one takes more drops to change. The more drops it takes, the more vitamin C was in that piece that you used. Make sure you're always using the same number of drops of iodine so it's a really good comparison. Okay, have fun testing at home.